I'll note this was a question from the floor, so I haven't been able to double check the numbers in it, but they sound familiar. Current unfunded liabilities are $440 million plus debts and infrastructure costs for a total debt burden of over $2 billion. If you are elected, how would you cut expenditures? Aiden, after you. One key area where we can create efficiencies in this city is by eliminating wasteful civil litigations. The amount of money, and it was colossal, around 500 million that we spent litigating the Red Hill Creek Expressway was not litigation money well spent. We need to work a lot more closely with the legal team that advises city council as a council to make sure that we are only undertaking civil litigations if they are likely winners. Also, we need to be contemplating civil litigations that we can actually win and go after those. That would be the number one area I would look to for starters for creating greater efficiencies. In any organization, there is room for, uh, for efficiencies. And when I'm counselor, I intend to go through our budget with a fine tooth comb to find areas that we can cut without damaging vulnerable populations and, and our community so that we can find the money to do the things we need to do. Thank you. Sandy, after you. Thank you. I, I like to believe that m most of us in the room understand that paying taxes is, is a privilege in some regard and that those taxes go to building the kind of communities that we want. I also know that people in this community want to ensure that their hard-earned tax dollars are being put to good use and be putting to good use for things that are important to them. I honestly can't tell you if I know that there's waste at City Hall. I haven't had the privilege of looking at the, the books. I would like to believe that our elected officials are doing the best they can to ensure that they themselves are looking after our hard-earned dollars. They've managed to keep uh, our tax increases to a minimum. I'm not saying that there isn't waste there, but at the same time, we have expenses that we need to look at. I, in addition to this, we have a billion dollar, approaching a billion dollar deficit in our infrastructure. And so I would ask people in this room, is that where we want to cut spending? We know that we need to invest in our sewers and our waterways and our combined sewer overflows. And so while we do want to see, ensure that our tax dollars are respected and are well spent, I think we need to understand that we have a lot of costs, we have a lot of infrastructure to, to build and to maintain, and that bill is coming Thank due you, one way or another. Brian, after you. Uh, I've had the experience of working with in the, in the city of Hamilton, and I know that in certain cases, money is spent because the budget's there. If you don't spend it, you lose it. So there is there are great opportunities for efficiencies to be to to be made, and monies to be saved, and taxes to be lowered. And also, it's a multi-pronged approach. approach. Bring in more business to the city. Help businesses that exist here su survive. Create jobs. Lower taxes. Thank you. Jason, after you. Thank you. So a big part of the way I would cut expenditures and, and increase efficiency at City Hall is just getting different departments to talk to each other. Uh, how many of you uh, saw what happened on King Street uh, a little while ago when they repaved the entire street uh, in Westdale, and then a couple of months later it came and ripped up huge chunks of it to replace water lines? Why are these departments not talking to one another? <laughs> if, we, <clears throat> if we open this up to communication and encourage and demand and require communication between different departments, we can cut down on the wasteful redoing of work that seems to occur on a regular basis at City Hall. I know part of what they're doing, <laughs> thank you, part of what they're doing now in Toronto is they are, every time they, they rip up a road or plan a major infrastructure project, they require every department affected by that change to sit down in a room together and hash out what their plan is. This is the type of experience I've had at Metrolinx, guiding these discussions and bringing people together for these conversations, and that's what I'll do at City Hall. Ira, after you. Every once in a while you'll pick up a spectator and you'll see an article on the front page that says, hey look, uh, you know, they're wasting money at City Hall. 
whether it's uh, you know crews taking naps and seeing vehicles parked for hours at the golf course. These are costs that we're paying for, and we have to fix that. There's no question there's waste. There's no question that we can do things better. I, I attended several meetings with the Hamilton Civic League and watched in shock and awe looking at charts of the budget going from a small percent. If I had the charts here, you see a small budget here to a huge budget here. Where is all the money going? It's going to wages. It's going to, like Aiden said, ridiculous law cases that we have to take care of. But we have to maintain our own city corporation, and we have to do that with the best kiss business case. And that's not being done, so we have to do better. We have to make sure that we're not spending money frivolously, seeing, you know, again, like Jason said, patchwork, patchwork, patchwork. Do, the, do it right the first time. You Thank know, you, talk Ira. to each other. Thank, Thank you. you. Tony, after you. Yes. First of all, council must respect the taxpayer of Hamilton by no wasting their tax dollars on projects that they're no needed. The city must show more discipline for municipal spending and deliver more for less. Bring more business to Hamilton, accommodate the new business coming in before we're losing to the other communities. We make sure that we, we welcome it with open arms. The more business, the more tax dollars coming in, the more residential tax go low. So, that's the way I feel, and I hope I can work very hard if I'm a, a counselor toward that. That's one of my goals. Thank you.